Teresa Collins. One of my favorite things, well, I always say that, but it's really true. I love to book bind. Um, and I have taught thousands of women and men, crafters around the world, how to use the cinch and the bind it all. So I thought it was only fair that I brought both of those to the show today because that is one of the things that I'm often emailed about asking how, which machine I use, which I use both still. Um, I teach with both still. And I wanted to just show you a really quick way to make an adorable book and to bind it really quickly. So this is Vintage Finds. This is a chipboard album and I love this, but you can see on this one, I did the rings, which is great, you can do that. But sometimes, I really love to do the book binding and um, use the metal coils. And you can see here, this is the same book. This is my story chipboard covers, they're thick. And what I love about this is, you can see how thick it is. I love that there's text on the inside. This was a trip that um, I went to Paris. And I love that, you know, it's, it's like a bound book. It's great. So, real simple. Um, I want to show you how to do this. Now, when you're doing, using the machines, one of the things that you're going to want to always, always do is have two things. You're going to want a ruler and you're going to want extra, like, scratch paper, this is just regular um, office paper. And what you're gonna do, you are going to take your machine. Now, for the cinch, what you're gonna notice is, what's great about this is you can pull out these knobs, these pegs, and when they're all pushed in, that means that anything you put in there, you are going to punch a hole. So, for example, you can see here that if I put in this white sheet of paper, I will know exactly where my holes are gonna be. There's a back to this cinch. You wanna make sure that whatever you put in there, your covers, your paper, it's flat to the back and you press down, really simple. Once I take that out, you can see that I have 12 holes. If you wanted five holes, you would simply just pull out the, the um, pegs. So I always tell people before you ever punch your cover, because you do not want to pay, you know, several dollars for something and then ruin it by punching the holes wrong. So always use a piece of paper as your guide. I always do that, no matter what. Um, so for example, the reason why you want the ruler is because you want to find out how, the, how wide your project is. So for mine right here, I know that mine is about seven and a quarter. And so if I just put my cover in right now, my holes would start right here at the end and stop at the end here. So it wouldn't be even. So knowing that mine is seven and a quarter, I know that I'm going, going to have to adjust my bar here. And so I basically know that I need to do half of seven and a quarter, which about is, so I just need to move mine just a little bit. So I do mine about um, three and a half for this particular project. And then what I still do, because visually I don't know if that's exactly where I want the holes to be, so again, I punch it, and then I will put it on my cover and go, okay, is that where I want my holes to go? And that is a little tip and trick that I do. And I can even see here that I want it to be spaced a little bit differently. So I would probably even move it just a little bit more. And again, you can measure it or you can just visually just go ahead and punch those holes. And now I can already see that this is exactly where I want my holes to be because I've used this guide. I promise you, this is going to be a lifesaver because I can line it up and I can see exactly where I want those holes to be. So now that I have my guide, with the cinch, a little tip, there's not a guide here to stop this from moving. So I keep a piece of tape, I literally, and then I press it on here so then you never have to worry that in between punching things that it's gonna come undone. So this time I'm gonna take my cover and normally I do have the machine kind of facing towards me, but how simple is this? You press down, and I have all of my holes exactly where I want those to be because I lined them up. And then you can do the same thing with your back cover. And I want it to be on the back side here, so I slide it in, press down, 
There we go. And there I have my back cover, which is, we can do this. So we have the front and the back cover. Your holes will line up, and that's how simple the cinch is. Now, for the, the coils, um, whatever size coils you use, this gauge will move. Right now I have it on three-fourths of an inch. And basically you're just going to put your coils in your holes and you put them on the side here and you're just going to press down. And that's how you tighten those. So I want to quickly show you how to do the bind it off. So that is the cinch. And I know there's lots of videos on it, but the best thing I can tell you to do is to practice before you punch. Now, when you're using the bind it all, the bind it all is great. It's perfect for traveling. It's smaller. It will punch six holes at a time. It has an arm that comes out. And this is really important that you take that out because if you do not, once you start trying to bind, it will flip up if you do not have this, this on. Again, same thing. Um, it has a lock, but basically when you're putting this in here, you can visually kind of see a little bit easier exactly where it's going to punch. This one will punch six at a time, and instead of doing round circles, it does um, these, these taps instead. And I love about this machine is it also has on the side here, if I decided I needed more, you can then engage it to where it locks in the page. So, and it's hard to see here, but it locks it in so that once I punch it again, and I can take it out of its tab, it will keep doing a continual line. And so that is what's great about the Bind It Off, and I do use this. Now, quickly to show you how to create this fun project. So in this book here, from I think I used a total of maybe six pages total to do all of these fun pages inside here. So really simply, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna take your, a piece of paper, and you're gonna, you're gonna just trim off the excess, the, the, the logo. You're going to take that and then because I know my book is roughly five by seven on the inside, I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to create three pages out of this one piece of paper. So I'm going to take my gauge out and so I know that I want the height to be seven inches. So what you will do, you're going to seven inches and then you're gonna take it, this is now seven inches by 12, and I know that I want it to be five inches wide, so I'll do a piece that is five inches wide, five by seven, five by seven, and then you have a piece that's two inches wide that you're gonna trim that in half, so then you have two pieces that are one inch by seven, okay? And then you still have this piece here, and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to do another piece that is seven inches. And so you have a, a five by seven, and then you have this piece here. So what I like to do is I like to take my circle punch, and I'm just going to do a half punch here so that it's like a little pocket tab. And then you're going to use your Xyron adhesive runner and you're going to put your adhesive only on the left and right hand side and the bottom to create a pocket. So there's one page. And then you'll have one page here. You're going to put your adhesive on the side here. This is two pages. And then your third page is the back side with the, I love the Vintage Finds brocade here. So that is three pages from one sheet of paper. So when you open the book, you can kind of see it here. You can see same thing, five by seven. This is the one by seven piece here. Here's a pocket. I didn't do the notch on this one, but you could always, and you can alternate these to create a really simple project. And the best part about this book is I have used every piece of paper on that one sheet. So I hope that you're inspired to do more book binding and create more mini books.